The power of music, we all know it's there, but what about putting motion to the music? Huh? Let's That's talk about how we're that. talking about yeah, let's right get now. Not Canadian. Hey everybody, it's Scott and Jeff once again in Scott's house. You know, where else are you gonna be? You could be uh, places. We've been on mountaintops. We've yeah. driven in the car. We've been to all over games and, and yeah. pools and uh, football fields. We plan to go many places. Hopefully, uh, doing this show from Fiji someday wouldn't be awful. Wouldn't be terrible. Sure. Yeah. Talking about happiness, how to be happy, how to be happier, and uh, of course, we go through a series of things that aren't necessarily sequential steps. And they certainly aren't the three magic keys to overall happiness in mm. life. Happiness is kind of a fleeting target. You know what I mean? It's shooting does. a skeet, you know, sometimes. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like trying to hit those little ships on Galaga. <laughs> oh, that is the music. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, you kind of get under there and there's the things yeah. hitting you. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I do know one quick way, what we call an instant upper. Oh, yeah, I love and we've these. we've talked about it before. It's music. Oh, yes. I mean, some of the music that you know from your childhood or from your adulthood mm -hmm. can be really inspiring and make you laugh and make you sad and make you happy, which is what we're trying uh -huh. to be is yeah. happy. Sometimes there's happy sad. Yeah, but I'm telling you, the, the, the happy happy is when you've got good music and good dancing. Oh. So that's what we're kind of including in this tip, is not just to listen to music or even sing along with it, but to get up and boogie, shwank, what a now. That's uh, disco. Uh, but of course, not everybody likes disco. No. There's other types of dance. There's all kinds of music. There's all kinds of dance. But really, you know, just moving around. Yeah, I, you know, you might be sitting there saying, I don't dance. I don't have a single rhythmic bone in my body, well, you kind of got to step out of yourself and take a class. When I was in college, I took a ballroom dance class. Ballroom dance? Yeah, ballroom dance class. Yeah. I mean, we're learning the tango, we're learning the the West Coast swing, as well as ballroom dance, but it was a great way I'm to meet gonna girls. I'm going to tell you right now. You tell me. One of the funnest times that I have ever had, and I've done this multiple times at different events, is square dancing. Oh yeah, square dancing is fun. I mean, go on your, your Google device and look for a square dance caller and at your next wedding reception or party or any kind of event, yeah. talk about kind of, sh talk about shocking people. Lots of They're fun. not expecting some guy to come out wearing a cowboy hat you know, I'm playing. Alan Man left with your corner. And you kind of, at first, what was that one? I don't know. Star. Rising Star. You know, everyone kind of turns in a circle. That's the only one I remember. I remember, I remember do si do. Yeah, yeah, do si do. And then Alaman was some sort of spin. Yeah. But I never sweat. Oh more my in gosh. my life than no when kidding. we got a square dance you called. And then all the yeah, all the, the the contact you make. Now if you're single it's a lot of fun to grab hands and swing around and you got a partner that you're bowing to and alamanning or whatever. But it could be any kind of dance. Yeah, really. I mean you might be sitting there and no, oh, I don't like country music to begin with. That's okay, because we didn't either when we were especially in high school. We would find oh. the coolest little weekend dance and it was all about music of the 80s. Yeah, and new so, wave oh, and yeah. the good dance, the dance music stuff. Yeah. Um, there, was, uh, there was a time when I worked in country radio and I still didn't like country, but I was doing a morning show for a country station and they'd have me and my partner go out to these different clubs and stuff and do live broadcasts from them. And that was back when... Uh, you know, they, they took us out and they made us, they, 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 they f outfitted us with at a the, country store. With the buckle? No, I didn't get no buckle or nothing. But they got us uh, Wranglers, because you had to have Wranglers, oh, good boots, Wranglers. and like uh, shirts with little arrows on the pockets. And I didn't, my partner, he went ahead and got himself a cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do that. I just, uh, I, I thought I looked pretty good. But that was back when... Boot, scoot, and boogie, and kind of, kind of the country line dance and started. Well, now you have the kids that aren't cowboys and aren't doing country music. What do they do? No, but they still do. <laughs> they still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. 
because every cowboy is an idiot. Um, <laughs> they still do line dances. Yeah, yeah. It's um, what a was big that? Deal. It's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. But, now that's an old. That's yeah. a, it's an old one. Yeah. But I was at a dance recently with my son, and it was a street dance, and they were doing. Um, everybody was dancing to. Uh, hey, John. Oh, he's not here. No, he's with you. <laughs> but every oh, he, he left. Yes. Yeah. So we could because we're here in my kitchen, and the reason we're in my kitchen is because this is where Alexa is. Look at that beaut. I didn't get that. Alexa, I love you. That's nice of you to say. Yeah, and that's pretty much what they would tell me at the dances as well. But uh, when we were kids, yeah, we went dancing all, all the, time. the time. And, um, and we didn't necessarily dance with a partner. We oh, just had to go and get out and do whatever we wanted to do. Yeah, all right, you banged your elbow. Yeah, it's okay, I'll get over it. Probably you got a nice laceration. Uh, but yeah, it was all about getting out, jumping, running, laughing, you know, dancing as hard and as fast as you could, being sweaty from head to toe. And there is one nice positive correlation with all of that, and that is, is that when you're a kid, yeah, you're pretty much always in good shape. But I mean, when you're dancing that hard as an adult, and if you do that regularly, you are mm. going to lose weight and get in shape, which also triggers happiness. But an instant upper for us in our home here, and this is our kitchen, and you know, I mean, I guess you could kind of look around a little bit. It's not terribly messy, but, but Alexa is right here. Hi. Alexa. Right here is... Play songs from the 80s. Here's a station you might like, Classical Piano, from Amazon Music. Well, I, I caught her a little late. Alexa. Play songs from the 80s. So just to Here's a station for 80s music. Quickly. All 80s from Amazon Music. Yeah. Okay, oh. so we've got Toto. I'm not going to dance to that. I am. Alexa, play dance music from the 80s. Here's a playlist for dance 80s music. 80s dance floor fillers from Amazon Music. Thrill. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Talk about a line dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, everybody danced to this stupid song. Yeah. And it really is. Alexa, next song. For the love of all that's holy. Little bit Donner. But we stand here in the kitchen, or sometimes I do when no one's here, and if I'm doing the dishes or I'm cleaning the kitchen, I can still, I can still. What was the song that we, uh, oh, oh, we were talking about the wonderful Alexa. Pause. So we're talking about, we were talking about laughter in another episode. And one of the wonderful world of Jeff's voice, his voice box, his larynx, was the song um, from Madonna, Borderline. Borderline. <laughs> and that, oh. that made us laugh yeah. when we were kids. Well. But didn't we have like an 8-track or 16-track recorder and I would drop... Yes, yes, Je we used to track Jeff's voice with all of him doing all of the different sounds. Now these are just things that are relevant to us, we understand that. Yeah. But the point here is that the music, the dancing, it inspired a whole sort of brand of humor for yeah. us. We would parody the songs, we would put in our own words, I know a lot of people do that anyway, accidentally, and it's really the source of a lot of oh, laughs. Oh, gosh. You know, getting the wrong words in oh, songs. It's hilarious. I had That's a guy cool. who did a Madonna song, and it was, remember that song, um, When You Call My Name, It's yes, Like I A Little prayer. prayer. Yeah. yeah. He thought mm -hmm. it was, When You Call My Name, It's Like A Little Train. <laughs> I'm like, how, <laughs> why, why would that be? And he'd sing it in the car, uh -huh. Like A Little oh, train. train. And he'd have to look over and smack him. But I know there's a lot of examples of those. If you have any examples of those, oh, show uh, make sure that you share them with us. Because what are we, your three we'd like to know favorite more. Three dance favorite. songs? So three favorite dance songs. Uh, I, I have them. Uh, oh, they're on my... Do you have yours? What's your I number three? So uh, my number three is a song called White Lines by Grandmaster Flash and oh. I think the Funky Five. Oh. Do you remember that song? Uh, yeah, because... It's an anti-cocaine song. It's an anti-cocaine song. Let's get that straight. What? Lines, dreams, dreams of passion. passion. Yeah. Uh, it's also my number three. Is it really? I have oh, white lines as greatest. my number three. Oh. It is very, very good. Are you number two? Maybe. It's one of those songs that goes forever and ever. It's got a really fast, good beat. Yeah. 
and everyone can sing to it. Right, number two. Uh, number two is A E I O U by Eben Ozen. Wow, a fairly obscure song yeah. by a couple Look of foreigners. Yeah. But man, oh man, that what is a, a good one to one. dance to. Your number two. My number two is Rock Lobster. Oh, oh, that's my number two. one. Yeah, well, I figured we had one. some shares because Rock Lobster was just one of those songs that goes all over the place. It's B-52s with Fred What's-His-Face. He sings like this, and it's really quite funny. But boy, you know, the Great sweat. Song. You know, how could you not be happy? Yeah, as soon as that song started up when we were kids, it was People like a one-act play. There were different ways to dance to it, and everybody knew the ways to dance to it. But anyway, uh, so since you took my... Well, you uh, took my three. I took your two. What's your number one? Okay, uh, so... Well, actually, Rock Lobster was my number one. Oh, what's your number two? Uh, my number two... I'll oh, give you my number one. Well, no, we All said right. Rock Lobster. I said yeah, Eben Ozen, White and I, oh. I said White Lines. So I've got an additional one, though. It might be your number one. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Uh -huh. Relax. Is it? Yeah. That's the funniest thing. You literally, yeah. uh, we did all the same so songs. We're right on the line. There's something man. wrong. But That's relax, crazy. number one, Frankie yeah. Goes to Hollywood, is the quintessential 80s dance song. Um, Alexa, play Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. She wants to become that If you don't know this song, or if you've never danced to it, where White Lines is not about drugs, this one is about sex. But, <laughs> but it just makes you, that's like, I mean, right there. <laughs> you have to dance to this. I know. It's, it's just, oh man. Anyway, thank you, Alexa. Thank you. That's enough. See, we that was back in our, our heathenistic days. We don't we don't listen to that song. No, I do. I pulled this up the other day while I was doing dishes, and I danced around wow, this wow, island. It's wow. a seven or eight minute dance song. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Alexa, at the moment I don't wish to come. So if you'll just uh, to the dance floor, I mean, thank you so much. And just turn it off. Just, Stop. just turn it off. Thank you, Alexa. Alexa, stop planning now. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're good now. Yeah, we're all good. We're not going anywhere, so to speak. So get up and dance. Trust me. You know we have. We're not going to dance for you, um, but man, will you feel good? Mm -hmm. And it'll make you happy right away. Yep. Well, obviously, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but uh, you're, if you're not from the '80s like we are, you wouldn't even know these songs. Yeah. But if you have some of your favorite songs from today, from yesterday, or from five decades ago, share them with us. Like yeah. our, our 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 channel, and uh, share it with a friend. Tell other people, and uh, we'll see you next time for another episode on how to be happier.